Streetable track and competition tires can be found on some of the highest performing supercars on the market, and they blur the line between a street tire and a full on track only option. Naturally, track day enthusiasts are often looking for a competitive advantage, and they want to know where these tires excel or fall short on the track. And that's why we're here at the track to compare two race ready options. First is the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3R, which was originally developed as the original equipment tire for the Camaro ZL1 1LE, and is now available in more sizes for more drivers. The second is the Toyo Proxis R888R. Technically, it's classified in our racetrack and autocross only category because the manufacturer says it's recommended for competition use only. Because of that, we don't advise anyone to drive it on the street, but we know people are cross shopping the two. So we're here to find out how they perform in their natural habitat, on the track. To get the most out of our testing and also ensure our BRZs were ready for use on the track, we made some minor modifications in the days leading up to our test. We added white line adjustable camber bolts and gave all our cars identical alignments with two degrees of negative camber at the front wheels. The added negative camber would help use more of the tire's contact patch through turns, enhancing traction and also improving wear. Front and rear TR Select brake kits with Hawk DTC60 pads and Centric 120 series rotors were also installed and properly bedded in to make sure we could confidently slow our cars without any fade that would interfere with our results. Once those important items were addressed, we were ready to hit the track. The Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3R was great to drive, earning a lot of positive comments from our test team. Turn-in was direct and the steering was linear from corner entry to corner exit, making it easy to put the vehicle where our drivers wanted without any minor corrections. Traction would break at the front end before the rear, resulting in some mild push, especially at the exit of the long, sweeping turn 2 and the S's of 7, 8, and 9. Overall though, the tire was balanced and happy to respond to two inputs at the same time. Braking was very strong as well, and the overall result was a very satisfying blend of characteristics. The Toyo Proxis R888R was also a nice tire to drive, but its limits weren't nearly as high. The steering had very nice weight and delivered strong front end authority both at turn in and through mid corner. Overall, the vehicle felt nicely balanced and very planted. If it was going to skid or slide, it would break away at the front axle before the rear, so there was no concern pushing to the limit. But our team couldn't carry as much speed through all phases of a corner, and they had to make an effort to wait for the weight to transfer and settle during faster transitions. The braking felt confident, but our drivers instinctively knew they had to start braking noticeably earlier than in the Goodyear due to the lower absolute traction. The Proxis R888R was very predictable and consistent, but it wasn't in the same league according to the stopwatch. 